Rivers are dynamic and powerful and can sometimes escape their banks. Flooding can be caused from ice jams like the one seen behind me. Ice jams can occur at either river freeze up or break up, but the more common time is at break up. Extended periods of cold temperatures form thick ice on the river. Warm temperatures then melt snow, which raises river levels and creates a recipe for ice jams. There are three stages of the breakup process. Pre-breakup begins with warm temperatures and increased river flow. The ice breaks into chunks and separates from the bank. Breakup involves ice moving downstream. This ice hangs up on stationary ice or objects like bridges. Smaller jams move downstream to create a large jam. Once the ice jams, it could dam the river and cause rapid, severe flooding. The last stage is the final drive, where the large jam dislodges, takes out smaller jams, and clears the river of ice. This can cause flooding downstream. North flowing rivers tend to ice jam more often because southern portions thaw faster and ice hangs up as it moves north. Ice jam floods are especially dramatic because of the potential for quick rises in river level, quick water release, and large ice remnants on the bank. Rivers go through cycles of destruction and healing. As temperatures rise, ice chunks will melt, new plants will emerge, and stabilize the soil to prepare for future floods. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Mae Smith, exploring the nature of Wyoming.